Okay, areas of circles and sectors. Um, so first off, we're going to find the circumference of this uh, circle, which we already did in the last um, section. So we're going to use the formula 2 pi r here. Um, so the radius is 5 centimeters. Okay, and then so this would be 10 pi centimeters. Or we could do a decimal approximation of that, which would be about 31.4 centimeters, something in that ballpark. Okay, so there's the circumference. You probably know how to find the area as well. But I do find that these two formulas get confused a lot, mixed up, because they're pretty similar. So the area formula is pi r squared. So um, I've got pi times 5 squared. Okay, 5 squared is 25. Um, but I wouldn't write this as pi 25 because this is a variable, even though I know the value of it. Like, you wouldn't write x5, you'd write 5x. So I'm going to write 25 pi, okay? And we can leave our answer in terms of pi here, um, but it is area, so it should be square units. Um, or, again, you can do a decimal approximation. You could put it into a calculator, um, and it's going to come out to about 78.4. You can use 3.14 as an approximation of pi, but it's better if you use a pi key on a calculator because it's got um, pi calculated to many more digits, and so it'll be a little bit more accurate. Um, okay, so next up, um, some vocab. So um, I'm going to shade in this slice right here. Okay, um, That slice that I just shaded in is called a sector. Okay, and the way you name it is similar to the way you would name this angle. So, you know, you could call this angle C because it's really the only angle C on there. But you can also um, call it angle ACB or BCA. So, um, that's the name of that sector. Okay, um, it's easy to confuse a sector with um, an arc. So, remember an arc from last chapter is part of the circumference. So, this thing would be arc AB. Or you can just use the symbol for arc like that. Okay, so yeah, the sector is like the slice of pizza, and then the arc is just the crust. Okay, all right. So let's move on to the first, the next example here. Okay, it says find the area of the shaded sector, and it's not shaded because I couldn't figure out how to do that on my computer, but now it's shaded. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to think about um, sector area. This is going to be the area of that slice of pizza. Okay, So it's going to be part of the whole pizza. right? So I'm going to think of this as the, um, the sector area as part of the whole area. Now, what part? Well, I've got 100 degrees here out of the total of 360 degrees. So you have to always realize that there's a total of 360 degrees. And that represents the fraction of the, um, of the pizza that I'm working with. Okay, And then for the area, this is the area of a circle. The whole, um, the whole uh, area would be pi r squared. Right? So I'm just going to do pi times whatever the radius is, which here is 3. And I've got that, okay? And then I'm just going to start simplifying this. So I can reduce this fraction, okay? So, you know, you could cancel out the, those. So you get 10 over 36, and that would reduce to 5 over 18. Okay? And then 3 squared is 9, so I've got 9 pi. Okay? And then if I multiply this, 5 times 9 pi would be 45 pi over 18. And then I can still reduce the 45 over eight, um, 18 because 9 goes into 45 and 18. So this would be um, 5 pi over 2. Okay. Now um, you could leave it like this. It's that many um, square centimeters. Or 
we could put it into a calculator and then we'd get about 7.85 centimeters squared. So it depends if you want an exact answer or an approximation. Okay. All right. Um, so you can try the next problem. So this is supposed to be the shaded sector. Okay. So you can pause the uh, video and try that out if you want. I'm going to start working through it. I've got part of the um, part of the whole area. So I'm dealing with 80 out of the 360 degrees and then I've got pi r squared so part of pi r squared okay and then I'll reduce the 80 over 360 that one's not super difficult to reduce but I I'm gonna sh well um, I'll reduce it by hand okay so um, that gives me 8 over 36 um, 8 over 36 4 goes into both of those, so that'd be 2 over 9. And then 4 squared is 16, so 16 pi. 2 times 16 pi would be 32 pi over 9. And I can't reduce that any further. So 32 pi over 9. Um, this is square centimeters for area, or that comes out to about 11.17 square centimeters. Okay. All right. Moving on to the next page. Okay, the 70 degree sector. So we're talking about this sector here, right? Um, that sector, it says, has um, an area of 200 square centimeters. Okay, and this time we're going to find the area of the whole circle. Okay. So I'm going to use the same um, formula from before. I'm thinking there's, there's a number of ways you could reason through this, so this isn't the only way. So the sector area is going to be part of the whole area. Okay, so I'm going to think about what I know. Well, I know the sector area this time, so this is 200, okay? And I also know what part of the circle I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with 70 out of the 360 degrees, okay? The only thing I don't know is the whole area, and that's what I'm trying to find, right? So I'm just going to call this x so that um, I can solve for x. <laughs> that's going to be the area of the whole circle, okay? So there's a number of things you can do now. You could multiply the whole equation by 360 to, to clear the fraction. What I like to do, um, then you'd have to divide by 70 after that. What I would like to do instead is to multiply by the reciprocal of this fraction. Okay, because those two things multiplied together are just going to equal 1. So they'll cancel each other out. So um, I'll just do the same thing to this side. And then those are going to be gone. So x is going to equal whatever that fraction times 200 is. Okay. So um, I'm just going to use my calculator here to, to make things quick. So I'm thinking 360 times 200. And then I'm going to divide that result by 70. And I'm going to come out to um, 10. I'm going to round this to, this, to the nearest hundredth. So um, this is going to be... 1,028.57, and this is the area of a circle, so square, um, and I know it's going to be centimeters squared because the sector was in square centimeters. Okay, so that's approximate, but there is the area, the approximate area of the whole circle. Okay, all right, and then next, find the diameter of a circle with an area of about 153.94 feet squared. So what I'm doing here is I'm thinking, well, I know the area formula, so let's set that up, okay? So the, if the area is, uh, is this, then I can say pi r squared is about 153.94, okay? Now, with this, remember pi is just a number. So we can actually solve this for r. Now, it's not asking me for the radius, but I also know that the diameter 
is going to be twice as big as the radius. So if I can find the radius, then I can get the diameter, no problem. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do over here. So I'm going to divide both sides by pi first to isolate r squared. Okay, and just to show you on here, I want to use that pi button. I'm going to do 153.94. I'm going to divide by pi, which on, it's pretty hard to see, but it's above that arrow key. So I'm going to hit second and then this button. So I get that divided by pi. You could use 3.14, but this is a little bit better. And I can see this is very close to 49. So this is approximate, so I'm just going to call that about 49, okay? So the radius is about, the radius squared is about 49, okay? And then if I want the radius, I'm going to take the square root of that. So the radius is going to be approximately the square root of 49. I don't even need a calculator for that. It's going to come out to about 7, okay? Now that I got the radius, I'm just going to double it to get the um, diameter. And I don't want to check my units. This should be in feet. This is not area, so it's not square feet. The uh, diameter is just um, first power. It's a linear distance. Okay. All right. And last problem. I'm going to find the area of the shaded region. Okay. So I've got to do some shading again. I'm going to shade everything but the circle here. Okay. So this is called a composite figure. So I don't have an area formula for a rectangle with a circle cut out of it, but hey, I have an area formula for a rectangle and an area formula for a circle. So what I'm gonna do for my area here, I'm gonna just kind of think, all right, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find the area of the rectangle and subtract out the area of the circle because I'm cutting out that circle and that will leave me with the shaded area, okay? So um, for the rectangle, it's just going to be 5 times 20. I'll put this in brackets to separate it. And then for the circle, I'm going to use pi r squared. Okay, so 5 times 20 is 100. And then 2 squared is 4, so this is 4 pi. So if you needed an exact answer, you couldn't really do any better than that because those aren't, um, yeah, the, you'd have to do a decimal approximation to simplify this any, any further than that, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find 4 pi first on my calculator, and then I'm going to do 100 minus that. Well, I'm using my last answer, but you could just type in the 12.56 number. Okay, so 100 minus 12.56637, something like that would give me about 87.43. Okay, and this is area again, so I need to make sure that my units are squared. I've got centimeters, right? So square centimeters. And that is it for this section. All right, see you next time.